Yes, Rayan, are you ready today? S. Interesting. Topic, let's dive into the concept of friction. Can you tell me what you understand about friction? Yes, sure, teacher. Friction is a force that opposes the motion or tendency of motion between two surfaces in contact. Exactly. Can you provide examples of friction in everyday life? Sure. When we walk, friction between the soles of our shoes and the ground prevents us from slipping. Also, when we rub our hands together, friction generates heat. Great examples. Now, let's talk about the types of friction. Can you name them? There's static friction, which prevents an object from moving when a force is applied. Then there's kinetic friction, which opposes the motion of an object already in motion. Fluid friction occurs when an object moves through a fluid like air or water. Lastly, there's rolling friction, which occurs when an object rolls over a surface. Excellent. Rayan. Now, let's discuss why friction is both helpful and problematic. Friction is helpful because it allows us to walk, drive vehicles, and grip objects without them slipping. However, it can also be problematic because it causes wear and tear on moving parts, reduces efficiency in machines, and generates heat, which can be undesirable. Precisely. Understanding friction is crucial in various fields. How do you think we can reduce friction in certain situations? We can reduce friction by using lubricants like oil or grease, smoothing surfaces, or even by using ball bearings to facilitate smooth rolling motion. Rin, you've got it. Understanding friction and its effects can help us design better machines and improve everyday processes. Well done. Thanks, Mr. Martin.